Hey everyone, this is Jacob, and Gravity Falls sure has made the news a lot lately, hasn't it? While it may have ended earlier this year, it's not going to disappear from our minds anytime soon. While its ending was awesome and emotionally impactful and intense and, well, perfect, Gravity Falls became one of the most talked about shows because of the wealth of mysteries that it provided. We as humans, we just can't stand for that. We're hardwired to want closure. Sometimes you can find yourself getting totally wrapped up into one of the questions that the show raises. And with so many theories flying around about interdimensional portals or possession or alternate timelines and just all this craziness, one of the biggest questions up until recently was actually pretty simple. What's Dipper's first name? His name was actually revealed recently and it uh, may have happened while this episode was being written. Whoops. Though it was never really addressed in the show. A piddling minor obstacle for the fans of Gravity Falls. The fan base has been absolutely amazing when it comes to solving the mysteries of the show. So today, we're gonna do something a little different. We're going to go over some of the first names that popped up frequently over the last couple of years and see how close the fans came. We'll also briefly examine a question about the nature of Gravity Falls that might not be so obvious. Let's pick up Alex Hirsch's breadcrumbs and take a look at this whole journey. If you've been a fan of Gravity Falls for a while, feel free to view this episode not so much as a conspiracy, but more of a retrospective of one of the longest mysteries of the show. But if you've never seen Gravity Falls, consider this episode just a peek at how deep some of this show's mysteries can run. And then when you finish this video, go watch all of Gravity Falls, you will not regret it. Just be warned that this episode has some pretty strong season two spoilers and then like even more severe spoilers down the line, but we're gonna put another warning before those. Now, obviously the show never really discussed the true name of the younger half of the mystery twins. However, there was a bit more to work with when we took the discussion outside of the show and onto the internet. Creator Alex Hirsch and the staff love to tease fans and try to misdirect us with all sorts of misinformation, as well as some actual hints every now and then. And this was mostly what the fans had to go on in the search for Dipper's name. If Hirsch said something about characters' names, it would be added to the canon of the series. Even Wendy's middle name being Blurble, which is... Pretty awesome, actually. So with that in mind, let's get rolling. Let's start with some basic process of elimination. Based on clues in the show, it was pretty clear that some names were absolutely not Dipper's name. Firstly, in the episode Double Dipper, Dipper names his first clone Tyrone as it's a name he's always wanted to have. This episode also eliminated Dipper from being his real name, as when Wendy sees Dipper's birthmark, she shouts, that's how you got your nickname, I thought your parents just hated you. Based on that delivery, it sounds like Wendy already knew Dipper was a nickname. One more crossed off. Lastly, we can confidently eliminate the name Bill, and here's why. At the end of March of 2015, Alex Hirsch's Twitter feed was possessed by an unknown entity, which kept teasing towards an Ask Me Anything thread on Reddit to be held at the beginning of April. This ended up being the isosceles monster himself, Bill Cipher. Considering how this was announced, we can assume that Alex either helmed the whole thing or he at least approved of it. So this Reddit AMA gets stamped as canon. In the AMA, when Bill is asked if he doesn't know Dipper's name, not only does Bill respond that he does in fact know Dipper's real name, but quote, if I had a name that stupid, I'd use a nickname too, he said in all caps because Bill has no inside voice. Considering Bill goes by Bill and not some other name, we can also cross Bill off the list. So through our process of elimination, we've gotten rid of the names Dipper, Tyrone, and Bill. Three down, every other name in the English language to go. We're making progress. But where was there to go from here? Based on the show itself and word of mouth from the characters, that's pretty much all we had to go on. But over the last couple of years, one or two more leads surfaced, which led to a lot more possibilities. So let's take this one name at a time. Name one, Lamanik. Right away, we're going straight to Twitter. Way back in 2014, series writer Jeff Rowe claimed that Dipper's name was actually Lominic, a tragic misspelling of the name Dominic. Well, there we go. We have a staff member confirming the name. Problem solved, right? Yeah, no. As illustrated before, Gravity Falls is never that simple. In a show full of mysteries and codes and completely ridiculous cipher hunts, no information is going to be dropped casually over Twitter. Furthermore, in the 2016 special Between the Pines, Alex Hirsch went on record saying that A, Dipper and Mabel are heavily based on he and his twin sister Ariel as children, and that B, there is a similarity between Mabel and Dipper's first names. And that would make sense seeing as he and his sister have similar sounding names as well. In any case, that second point seems to definitively debunk Lominick as a viable option. Name two, 
Roderick. The possibility of Roderick floated around for a bit after the episode Irrational Treasure aired. At the end of the episode, President Sir Lord Quentin Tremblay Esquire calls Dipper Roderick pretty casually. Seeing as he calls Mabel by her first name correctly, why would he get Dipper's name wrong? But there are a few things that interfere with this theory. Firstly, Dipper stammers and tries to interject when he's called Roderick. But since that's just kind of how Dipper talks, it's pretty impossible to tell what exactly he was going to say before being interrupted. The more conclusive debunking can be done through two pieces of evidence. The first being that Quentin Tremblay is a nut bar and taking anything he says at face value is pretty risky. But the second, again, comes from Alex saying that Dipper and Mabel share similar first names, and I can't imagine how Roderick and Mabel are in any way similar. Similar. They both have an E in them? Name three, Stan. This next one's great just because of how bananas it is. But ever since Grunkle Stan's brother Stanford came into the picture, through cryptic clues that suggested there may be more Stans in this world than we initially thought, there was the odd idea flying around that Dipper's name could also be Stan. Maybe named after one of his great uncles? The one who went missing? Maybe all the men in the Pines family just have to be named Stan. It's a funny idea to think about, but this theory was usually suggested as a joke and then written off for being just too silly for it to be the case. Name four, Kane. This wasn't a very common idea, but it did come up a few times here and there, most comprehensively in an excellent post by Reddit user DJ Saturn. While it might not sound like Mabel, there is a noticeable similarity or link between the two names, that being the story of the sons of Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel. A great idea considering the names Cain and Mabel even match the amount of letters in Alex and Ariel's names, with Cain being four letters and Ariel being five letters. But it seems a little weird to me if Dipper was named after someone who murdered their sibling. Oh, uh, spoiler alert for religion, I guess. Sorry. The name could be purposely ironic, but in the case of Gravity Falls, you learn pretty quickly that almost nothing is ever fully off the table, so it's pretty interesting to think about. Name four. Michael. One name that seemed to always come up was Michael, and the main reason for this seems to be an alleged tweet that Alex Hirsch posted and then deleted shortly after claiming that Dipper's first name was Michael. But as we've already firmly established, that's just not how Alex operates. The tweet's been confirmed to be fake for a while. And to pile onto that, back in April of 2016 at the big festival in St. Petersburg, Alex said during a panel that Dipper's name wasn't Alex, Mabel, or Michael. Seems the name Michael, as well as two bonus names, could be put to bed. Those were just a few of the most common thoughts as to what Dipper's first name could be. But as of recently, we now have a definitive answer. At the end of July, we saw the release of Gravity Falls Journal 3, a canon reproduction of Dipper's journal from the show, including his own notes and other awesome tidbits. One of those more of information, however, just happened to be Dipper's first name. And if you prefer the mystery or haven't picked up Journal 3 yet, I'm gonna give you some time now to click away before we reveal the name. Beware, spoilers ahead, even though the show already ended a while ago. This is probably long enough. Near the end of the book, we see an exchange between Dipper and his great uncle Ford. It's a quiet moment, but it showcases just how much Dipper trusts and respects Ford. This is because he tells Ford pretty much out of nowhere that his real name is actually Mason a name that had also surfaced on fan forums well before the journal ever came out. Considering it had a similarity to Mabel, and Mason is probably a reference to the secret society of the Freemasons, it seemed like a slam dunk at the time. And those suspicions were finally confirmed just a few short weeks ago, five months after the show ended its run. Perseverance pays off. But this brings up another interesting question. Why reveal Dipper's name at all? In the past, there have been tons of questions brought up in film and TV that were never answered that sparked years, even decades of discussion. What was in the briefcase in Pulp Fiction? What was said at the end of Lost in Translation? Where on earth is Springfield? You can always come up with an explanation or try to rationalize one, but in the end, it doesn't matter anyway. They're all red herrings that actually aren't that important to the overall story. Also, the reason a lot of these mysteries go unanswered is because no matter what the result is, it would never live up to the mystique of the mystery itself. Dipper's name very much fell into that category. No matter what his real name is, he'll always be Dipper to most of us. So for a show that's as much about the unanswered questions as it is about the answered ones, why clear the air on one of the biggest ambiguities of the series after the fact? Don't get me wrong, if there was ever a right way to do it, the journal handles it excellently. A candid moment where Dipper exposes his vulnerable side to somebody who he's looked up to for the entire series. It's terrific character development. 
So here's my theory as to why Dipper's name was revealed at all. Gravity Falls was always a series about two things, the pursuit of knowledge and growing up often with one serving as a metaphor for the other. And Hirsch has always been very careful to not answer questions until the time is right. But recently, ever since the show ended, Hirsch has been a lot more open with answering questions in interviews. And a lot of this has culminated into the release of Journal 3. Maybe this release, along with the answer to this long-discussed question, is Alex Hirsch's way of letting go, of moving on to other projects. Gravity Falls is an unforgettable series all the way through. And it's been one of the greatest breaths of fresh air and animation in recent memory, creating mysteries and bonding people over curiosity in an intricately woven web of intrigue. And maybe with this reveal, we're being told that while we can all enjoy these mysteries for as long as we like, we all eventually move on to other things. Summer ends. But I don't know, maybe I'm just disappointed that Dipper's name didn't end up being Dippy Fresh. You didn't know what you had, Alex. It would have been perfect. But what do you all think? How do you feel about Dipper's name being revealed? Did you have any other theories before his name was confirmed? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below, and also let us know if you have any theories you'd like us to take a look at in the future. Until then, be sure to subscribe to Channel Frederator for all sorts of good stuff, including more cartoon conspiracy. We'll see you next time.